My name is Stéphane Labry. I'm a senior product owner in the Flame family team and I take care of the infrastructure part of the application. My name is Frederick Warren. I'm doing the exact same job as Stéphane, product owner as well, more on the tools and usability side. I guess the biggest challenge that our customers are facing now is that the time they have to deliver multiple formats, much more formats than before, is always shrinking. So they always need to deliver more in a smaller amount of time. So our goal is to make sure that it is possible for them to deliver as much as possible in the fastest way possible. My mission part of the Flame family team is to ensure that Flame is the hub of the post-production for the studios, for the facilities who use our product. So the idea of the, the hub is to be the central, central place of the post-production where they will conform, they will do the shot distribution, they will give this work to remote artists and bring them back, manage versioning, and ensure that all the finishing tasks can be done in our product. One of the biggest part of that is to make sure that you have all the tools to adequately monitor what others have done and to review what have been done by other artists. So in 2024, we're adding directly inside the player a metadata overlay that will let you inspect all the metadata of your shot directly in the player, dynamically based on what is selected in your media panel. Which is great because like we said earlier, I mean, if we can save all these one, two second action to add an effect, put it on a shot, have the burning metadata, I mean, if we can skip and, and, it. And now you're one click away. Basically. Absolutely, that's it. So this is magic. So Flame 2024 is the first version on which we're going to be able to run on the Mac Apple Silicon natively. So what is the benefit? Well, I mean, uh, being closer to the operating system, to the native hardware without emulation means more uh, performance for the end users. And also, it enables to use Apple technology like we've done in one of the updates of 2023 with the HDR the capability, being able to uh, have the HDR display of your MacBook Pro on set and be able to see, you know, a nice HDR image without having to rely on an external monitor, which is a great addition to the product line. And with 2024, we are moving to Rockinux 8.7, meaning that uh, the customers will benefit from the latest and greatest security patches, and they're going to be current with the latest version of the operating system. A lot of the flame feedback requests we had were about batch paint. And in 2024, we decided to implement as much of those requests as possible. So you're gonna have things like select multiple strokes to edit them at once, being able to track directly in the player, but also a bunch of smaller improvements that we've made based on customer's feedback. Another challenge they have very often is how can I grow my studio to answer my customer needs? Very often they might be asked, well, can you, add, can you handle this project which might require 15 more people, right? So this is a big challenge they have. And that's why when we, uh, in, in 2023, release with Flame on the cloud, we were able, in fact, to enable that kind of workflow where they can easily deploy multiple uh, Flame family products on the cloud and then scale up for a given amount of time and then scale down when they don't need any more of these resources. And of course, deal with like the new way of working, which is a lot of remote work and make sure that they can still deliver so we are always listening to our customer feedback and try to improve as much the different areas of things. So they're, they're, they're very, you know, uh, artistic, these guys, technical and artistic, which is in fact what defines a flame artist. They always think about things differently than we do. Absolutely. So yes. they're gonna like attack a tool or yeah. like think about a tool in a different way and do something. That Absolutely. And that's amazing. Yeah.